This patient presented with a, kind of a strange pain. It was like a cracked cusp toothache, um, like sharp pain on biting and sensitive to cold. Now we tried doing a cusp capping rest restoration and that didn't work. So it seemed like irreversible pulpitis. So we've decided to go in and do endo. Now you can tell by looking at this radiograph that it's going to be difficult to find the canals. And so sometimes uh, when you can't find canals, if you trough, trough far enough up the route, you will eventually find them. The, the trouble of course is that it's easy to go off track one way or the other now. There's a few things you can do. One is you can get a cone beam and that gives you an idea. In this case what I've done is I just wanted to see how far away I So I can see a canal there and I wanted to see how far. So I've actually put some opaque you could use cavit, so just pack some cavit there that shows up on radiographs, or flowable or something. And I was just wanting to see how much further I had to go and that I wasn't coming out the side of the route or into the furcation. Uh, so using that technique, I was eventually able to get to the uh, all the canals here, even though it was a heavily uh, slurosed or calcified case. So sometimes putting a little bit of uh, uh, radio opaque material into the canals can really help a lot with a canal that is uh, calcified. Thanks very much for watching.